Hey everybody! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? <laughs> so guys, welcome to your readings for the month of December 2018. We are already at the end of the year. Where has the time gone, right? Um, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of when I started this channel. I started it January 8th of 2018, and it's been a really amazing year so far. Um, to grow to 12,000 subscribers in, you know, under a year, I mean, I hit the, I think I hit the 12,000 mark in October, I want to say. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Like, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support, for liking, sharing, subscribing, for just being here, especially to those of us, or those of you that are on this Twin to Flame journey. Thank you so much for being such an amazing support system, not just for me, but for everyone else that is on here. I mean, I don't know what I would do without the support of this community here we have on YouTube and everything. So I just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys. You're amazing. And for those of you that are just finding the channel, welcome to the community. Welcome to the group. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. Yes. So I also want to wish everybody a very happy holidays, no matter what you celebrate during this holiday season. And even if it's just for New Year's, happy holidays and happy new year, guys. It's going to be, 2019 is going to be really awesome. I can feel it. I'm really excited to, to start, to get started. Yeah. So I just want to make a quick point about um, Western astrology versus Eastern astrology. Uh, so many of you that have been following me for some time know that I recently started studying uh, Eastern or Vedic or sidereal astrology and for me personally, it's been so powerfully transformative and so accurate that I really adopted a lot of that. So that is why in the description box, you'll see I have two options. I have two versions, my Western chart and my Eastern chart. Um, I put that both of those there for those of you that still resonate with the Western chart. And I did receive a question from someone at one point asking which one... Um, you're, you are when it comes to my channel. I would say, I would recommend that you really investigate your Eastern uh, Vedic or Sidereal. They're all the same. They're like the same name for one name for the uh, different names for the same situation. <laughs> but uh, I would say, I recommend that you look up your Eastern chart because more than likely, or yeah, more than likely, most likely you are going to resonate with that one. It's more accurate. Um, it has more detail. Not everybody does. Some people find that they still resonate with the Western. So that's why I keep both of those situations there. Ultimately, it is your choice to figure, to, to understand or decipher which one, which side you resonate with more. Me personally, in my personal opinion, and if I were to approach you and have a conversation with you, I would lean more towards the Eastern side of things, but ultimately that is your decision. So if you want to figure, like, watch both sides, um, whatever signs you resonate or you have in your chart and see which side resonates with you, go right ahead. Um, but ultimately, I'm leaving that up for you guys to decide, okay? But anyway, so these are your messages for the month of December. Um, these are general, re uh, general messages. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit. You'll only make yourself uncomfortable in the process, yes? Um, they're general readings, so these energies are fluid. Um, they could, we could be talking about you specifically. We could be talking about someone else that you're connecting with or someone that's surrounding you. Again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I am available for private readings. All the information is in the description box below. I am going to be taking it a bit easy for the month of December, um, but I'm still available. So if you want to get a reading, go ahead and look at the description box. Yes. Um, keeping it cute, as always, with the normal stuff. We've got the Golden Universal Tarot, and we've got Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns. I love unicorns. And if you know me, if you've been following the channel, you know just how much I love unicorns. Yeah? So I guess that's it, guys. Without further ado, let's do it. Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into it. Well, also, I want to point out, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm wearing my Taurus shirt. Hey, Taurus gang. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's get into this, guys. All right. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. 
All right, Taurus. So I'm seeing a lot of white energy for you. This is divinity. This is purity. This is also divine protection. And I really feel like a lot of you are really going to be taking it very easy this month. Um, you know, obviously this is the holiday season. So you're probably spending time with friends and family. If not, I really just feel, I really feel like some of you are really just going to be keeping to yourselves this month. And I don't really think there's anything that bad with that. I just, you know, if you are in a bit of a hermit mode, that's okay. Just try to make it productive, you know. Instead of just being in hermit mode just for shits and giggles, maybe, like, you know, use it for some time to work on some self-mastery, some self-discovery. You know, work on yourself. Try to make it productive. Although I do feel like some of you are just feeling really sluggish this month. Like you just really just don't want to do anything. And that's okay too. Um, especially since, you know, a lot of us have been really working very hard this year. Um, and now this is just kind of a time for rest. That's okay. I mean, I resonate with that. In the Eastern chart, my Mars is in Taurus. And I just feel like not really doing too much physically right now. I'm really just spending time with myself and focusing on me and that sort of thing. So I really feel like that could be where a lot of you are. All right, Taurus. One more shuffle and then we'll get into this. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Here we go. <clears throat> All righty, Taurus. Let's see what we've got for you. Overall energy is the fool. All right. So some of you uh, are really considering um, uh, start embarking on a brand new journey. Okay. Uh, uh, this could really be something that could be taking off in January. Um, I feel like December is much, is much more of a gestation month th than anything else. But you have a brand new start that's happening. Now, this could be happening this month for you. Um, but it could just be in the works, generating right now. You've got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so yes, some of you are really contemplating a brand new start here. Um, and you're taking stock. It's almost as if you're taking stock of what happened has happened in your life over this past year. And you're trying to decide which direction you want to move in once the energies are right. Okay, you have the Queen of Cups. Many of you... You could be dealing with a Cancer or another water sign, Pisces or Scorpio. But what I'm really seeing here is, especially in light of the Seven of Pentacles, you're really taking stock to look at what would be emotionally fulfilling with you for you. You could also be just dealing with a bunch of emotions. And for some of you, if you really feel like being in this hermit mode um, and really not really being too social or not really doing too much physically, this is really a, a perfect time for you to really get in touch with your emotions and, you know, think about what's happened over the past year um, and how can you, and think about how you can planting be planting new seeds, wow, for a better harvest in the future. And then here you go. Um, you really could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you have death here. So there really is a transformation that's happening for you, uh, a Taurus. You're really... You're really working on starting a new chapter in your life. And this really could be why you are taking some time to yourself. Because you're tr working on disconnecting from all of the things in your life over at maybe the past year or the past few years that have really been burdening you, have been holding you down, bogging you down. Um, and you're working on figuring out how you can have a better harvest in the future, okay? So this so far is a really good energy for you, Taurus. Let's get into your first row here. First set of surrounding energies, you have the Knight of Wands. Some of you are really inspired by something. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Some of you might be feeling pretty lustful <laughs> this month, um, dealing with some one night stands potentially. This could be you embarking on more of a spiritual path. Um, to me, the, the Knight of Wands is very much the spiritual warrior. So you really could be um, focusing on what it is that inspires you and working on moving forward in that direction. The Knight of Wands is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. Now, to me, this is keeping to yourself, okay? Now, this could really symbolize Taurus energy, as in the Four of Pentacles, because Taurus energy can be 
can be pretty stubborn sometimes, um, and I say that lightly. I don't mean to trigger anybody. Of course, if it does trigger you, then there's something there that you need to work on. But um, what I'm seeing here is this is someone keeping to themselves, really not allowing anyone to kind of infiltrate their space. And I see somebody kind of fanning the flames of their own fire here, okay? Getting to know themselves on a fiery, passionate level. Maybe even keeping your ideas to yourself. Um, I am picking up a bit of a miserly energy. That's what I'm hearing. But some of you really could be working on saving your money because you have this new direction that you really, that you know you want to move in when the time is right. And so you're really kind of keeping to yourself, biding your time, that kind of energy potentially. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, we have, wow, now the Knight of Pentacles. So you have this passion and this fire and this drive, but you're really not moving too quickly, okay? You know the Knight of Wands energy is there. You're ready to move forward with something, um, but you're taking your time. You're doing things methodically. And that really makes sense, especially for a Taurus. Taurans are um, earth energy, you know, they're pretty slow moving. Um, again, the Knight of Pentacles could be more of your energy, but this is this is doing things uh, slowly and methodically, piece by piece, um, moment by moment, no, not leaving any stone unturned, making sure you're doing it correctly so that when the time comes, you can really move forward, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is coupled with, woo, the Five of Wands. So this is why you are probably taking this Knight of Pentacles approach to the situation because there's... Uh, there's some a little bit of chaos surrounding it. You haven't quite figured out how you're going to move forward with it yet. There's all this passion and this fire and this drive to move, but you're still not quite ready to take too many action steps, okay? The Five of Wands is opposing views or opinions, either externally or internally. And I really feel like this is mostly internally because you're still trying to iron out the specifics, okay? You're still trying to really figure out how you're going to move forward or take action here even though you're quite inspired, right? It's very interesting. You have two wands and two pentacles energies that are kind of mirroring each other here. You know, the knight of wands, the four of pentacles, and then the, the knight of pentacles and the five of wands. It's really interesting. Your challenge in your first set here for the month of December, you have, ooh, the nine of swords. All right, so dealing with the anxiety, dealing with the fear, dealing with the, the fear of failure is what I'm hearing Wow, Nine of Swords is coupled with the Three of Cups. Whoa, well that just went flying. Um, it went flying and it landed reversed. That's interesting. Uh, what I'm getting here is, it's almost as if, it, what I'm hearing is a fear of rejection and this is weird. It's almost if you're afraid that you know, you're not going to be socially accepted or what it is you're planning on rolling out for your life is not going to be received well by the public. And this card flew right off the floor and landed in reverse. And what that is saying to me is you have no reason to fear this, Taurus. Or Crosswatcher, really. You have no reason to fear this. All of these fears are illusionary, okay? So just let that go. You don't have to worry about that. Your potential outcome or the final message here for this first row for your month of December, you've got the star. All right, wish fulfillment and healing. It's almost, it's like the star is saying you're moving in the right direction. Even though you don't quite know where you're going completely, you're moving in the right direction. And the star is coupled with the world, you see? Major cycles are coming to an end here. And the star could symbolize um, Aquarius. Uh, but you're moving in the right direction. There are some major cycles that are coming to fruition, that are coming to completion here for you. And this is all divinely guided. And you've been following the steps. You've been following the guidance so far. So there's no reason to not continue in this way, okay? For the second set for your month of December, first set of surrounding energies, you've got the Six of Pentacles. So reciprocity. Uh balance between the give and take here you might we might want you might want to check the Aries reading I don't know if there's Aries in your chart I mean this kind of I have my Mars in 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 terms of I'm going to explain to you to see how this this is connecting with me so I'm going to help I'm going to explain it to you guys so you see what I mean here but in the eastern chart which is something I really resonate resonate with lately my son is in Aries 
my Mars is in Taurus. Mars is your planet of action. And so um, I, I'm saying that for some of you, you might want to check the Aries and the Aries reading. There might be Aries energy in your chart, or you might just want to check the Aries energy because it might resonate with you. But um, it's a similar message here. A lot of the same cards are coming out. Um, but here you have the Six of Pentacles. All right. So moving on, you have the Six of Pentacles. And it's funny because you have the Seven of Pentacles up here in your overall energy. So I really feel like you're coming into a position where you're much more about balance between give and take. And so after you have come to this energy here, to this resonance with the Six of Pentacles, then you get a chance to, um, to move forward to the Seven of Pentacles where you can then plant the seeds for a better harvest in the future that will provide you with more reciprocity here with the Six of Pentacles. Yes, Six of Pentacles is coupled with the Page of Wands. Excellent. Inspiration. The Page of Wands is very much about, to me, is very much about self-discovery, self-understanding. Knowing what you want, okay, or having being inspired to go after something that you want. And I really feel like there is a big, big need for balance between give and take in your relationships. Could even be financially in your job situation, all right? Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for the second row here you've got here you are Taurus the king of pentacles again there is more there are, there are a lot of the same cards coming up between Aries and Taurus you might want to watch that reading um but the, I see this as you being very grounded very stable very very financially abundant successful um and I really feel like you're coming from a place you're coming from this place here as the king of pentacles to really make some major power moves here with the seven of pentacles you're really you're you're harvesting okay um but you're also getting ready for the next harvest and you're using some serious wisdom that you gain in the physical sense in the material world to really drive you forward you could be dealing with another earth sign taurus capricorn or virgo um, but I'm really seeing this as you right now, Taurus. You're really in a place of power financially, physically, that kind of thing. King of Pentacles is coupled with, okay, the Two of Swords. Now, this doesn't feel so bad because you do have this financial stability here. Now, this is, there's another message that's coming through here. There could be someone that you're dealing with that's very fixed and doesn't want to see anything differently other than how they know it. And if that's the case, Taurus, or that could be you, Taurus, and this is a message for a cross watcher, if that's the case, you got to just leave them to their own devices. You can't change them, especially if they're an earth sign. You can't force them to change. The more you force it, the worse it's going to get, the more they're going to dig their heels in. And if this is a message for the cross watcher here, you've got a chance to rediscover yourself here and to become inspired towards having that reciprocity, having that balance between give and take. Relationships are a two-way street, guys. So if someone doesn't want to go with the flow, then you got to go with the flow in your own way and not keep yourself in a negative situation. For some of you, there is someone out there, a, some sort of fixed energy um, that doesn't really, that refuses to see something differently. And in that case, you just got to move forward, guys. I mean, there's nothing else I can say. Your challenge here for the second half, second row, the second half of your message, you've got the chariot. Wow. Again, more of this, uh, similar messages um, to the Aries reading. So you really might want to check that out. But your challenge being the chariot here, move, moving forward. Okay, maybe potentially getting out of a rut. As Taurus, you might be you, you might be in a really fixed energy right now, in the feeling like you you got your you're not you're needing to generate the momentum is what I'm getting at here. Okay, you could be dealing with a Cancer. The challenge here is to get moving in a new direction. And you have the fool here in your overall energy. Chariot is coupled with, ooh, 
the Page of Swords, you could be watching a Cancer. A Cancer could be watching you. But this could also be learning something new, figuring something out in order to generate that momentum, in order to uh, maybe even learning a new skill or uh, brushing up on your skills or something like that in order for the momentum to, to start, to be generated, okay? Final message or a potential outcome here for the second row, you've got the, geez, the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, wow, this, that came out for the Aries reading too. Uh, this could be you or could, this could be another person, but someone is very dead set on what they want. They're very sure of themselves. They're very confident and they're not afraid to go after it. Someone could be taking this action towards you. This officially is Leo energy. It's another fixed energy, but I also feel like this is somebody that's, that knows what they want and know, knows what they want and um, is sure of themselves, like I said, but is pretty fixed and is not, it, it's resonating a lot with this King of Pentacles energy here. Okay. So I don't know if, if someone is very sure of themselves, very pent up, you might just have to let them go and let them do whatever it is they, what they want to do and move on in your own direction. Okay. The King of Wands is coupled with, yeah. The Five of Cups. So I'm just hearing you need to let this go. Because this is a fixed energy, all right? And this is something that I don't think is really... Give me... I'm sorry, guys, for the pause. I'm just trying to get the message here. They're saying the message is clear. You have to let this go. Because this person is just too fixed. It's just too fixed. At least at this moment in time. All right? So let, you you know, you got the Three of Cups spilled. There was that, I mean, here's another depiction of the Three of Cups. But then you have these two cups that are still behind you. And this is the balance between masculine and feminine within. This is the unity within. So don't let this person or this situation get you down. Okay? I don't know who that was for, but that's interesting. All right, so let's get into the oracle message for your month, Taurus, December 2018. But you really have a major transformation happening right now, Taurus. Yeah. Major transformation between the fool, death, and the world. Okay. Let's get your oracle message for the month, Taurus. There it is. Okay, underneath the deck you have prosperity. So that's good. You're very much abundant, Taurus, right now. But your your message here is nature. Ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature. Connect with the elements. So really take some time this month to ground yourself, to get, to, to, to really get grounded, get sure, get stable, um, clear up, tie up some new loose ends, clear up some old residual energies so that you can embark on this brand new journey that you've got. Cause you've got something brand new, a brand new cycle is starting for you, Taurus. So, um, really take this time this month to ground yourself and get ready for it. Okay. All right, Taurus, so there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I am available for personal readings. I am only going to be taking a certain amount this month. I don't want to really overdo it. I am in a bit of a restful period myself. Um, and so, But I am still available for private readings. Uh, all of the information is in the description box below. Um, you, uh, you, the readings that I, sorry guys, the readings that I offer, they are down there. Just go ahead and read through them and email me. Tell me which one you'd like. If you can't decide which one you would like to move forward with, email me. We'll talk about the situation a little bit and I will help you figure it out. Okay. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.